And we're back here at Boom and Bust with a monthly panel, Sandra Puputello, Joe Oliver, Gary Marsh. Sandra, uh, any thoughts on our GDP growth? Are, are you concerned about that number? Well, I am worried because we are constantly lagging behind even our American counterparts when it comes to innovation and investment in innovation uh, on the shop floor in Canada. Um, you you got to figure out the reason for that. When you speak to business people, they say they would love to do these things. They need more people. So it seems to come back to their ability to hire skilled trades, their ability to get people where they need them. And that speaks to a larger issue. So back to immigration, which we've spoken about before, uh, is it moving fast enough? Are we bringing in the right people? Are they going to the right places? That's a that's a, a nut that we have got to get cracked properly. And I'm hoping that this new immigration minister is going to take this on and have a, a very clear link to industry when he discusses the kind of you know, policies, new or otherwise, to get people into this country to give our companies a hand. Uh, Gary Marr, you did a great uh, intro for the next question, which is uh, Canada West Foundation looking at our infrastructure and how this intersects with uh, supply chain and uh, our ability to get goods to market. Maybe just sort of take us through some of the uh, conclusions of the Canada West Foundation report and uh, how you've been advocating for that uh, with the uh, various premiers and, uh, and uh, government agencies. Canada West has taken 10 years worth of uh, trade data and looked at it from the point of view of infrastructure. And what we found uh, was that our, our infrastructure is simply lagging. We're not keeping pace uh, with our efforts to try and grow our economy through exports. Uh, we compare ourselves to other jurisdictions around the world, particularly notable is the United States, which is not only our biggest uh, trade partner, it's also our biggest trade competitor. And if you look at what Secretary Buttigieg has done with transportation infrastructure in the United States, it's been significant, and we just haven't been able to keep pace here in Canada. Um, I think it's important to know that the, the premiers of Canada are aware of this. Um, we went to Premier Stephenson. Uh, when the report first came out at the end of uh, 2022, we said, we think that this is something that would be uh, important uh, for the Council of the Federation. At, and at that time, she was chair of the Council of the Federation. And again, the annual gathering of premiers, she agreed and she put it on the agenda for um, the Council of the Federation's meetings uh, in July. And between late last year and July, uh, myself and other members that were writers of the report uh, went to visit Premier Smith, Premier Moe, Premier Eby, um, uh, Premier Ford, uh, Premier Legault, and got their support for the recommendations that we should move from having infrastructure that is funded based on, instead of being shovel-ready, it should be shovel-worthy. In other words, there's a way of calculating the return on investment uh, for the infrastructure that you put together. And when talking with Premier Ford, it was notable that... Uh, you know, he said, look, we've got congestion uh, with truck traffic around the GTA. Uh, but he re recognized that um, even if you fix that provincially, it doesn't help uh, if you don't fix up the port infrastructure uh, in uh, the lower mainland of British Columbia, because uh, one of the largest by dollar value exports that goes out of that port is auto parts coming from Ontario. And so this is the reason why we need a national infrastructure plan. And if you look at major competitors around the world, UK, Australia, the United States, they do have national plans. And that's what we advocate for um, so that we don't just do things on a local basis for politicians to cut ribbons on, but we actually have an infrastructure that's integrated. Uh, I suppose we could use uh, a more common language like uh, supply chains, which I think uh, most Canadians are, have some sense of, and we need to fix our supply chains so that those companies that rely on things that are incoming goods can get them. Those companies that export things uh, can get them out to market. Uh, Joe Oliver, we've got less than a minute on this segment, but do you want to start us off on maybe your reaction to this? Well, yes, I think it, it you know, I agree with, with, uh, with, with Gary's points and, and I, uh, you know, salute the, uh, uh, the Canada West Foundation uh, study because it's, it's a really important one. Uh, the, the, it's not for lack of spending here. It's just that the spending by this this profligate government has gone into uh, the, the wrong things. 
Uh, they've given away money and they, they haven't really uh, spent money on, on long-term projects that will have the, the productivity, positive productivity impact that we so, so, so dearly uh, need and, and uh, building up infrastructure right. for, uh, for exports is, 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 is part of that.